We picked up some flying Miata sway bars for the NB1 Miata we have. Our beautiful 10th anniversary clapped out clapper. Look at that thing. I'm gonna name it Polka Dot. What do you guys think? I think polka dot's a good name. It's gonna be like straight sleeper. It's gonna be like freaking handle like a Porsche, but it's gonna look like a Miata, like a clapped out Miata. But under it, it's just gonna be prime. We got our flying Miata sway bars right here. Pretty freaking nice. They got this nice wrinkled gray. Looks pretty sweet. Nothing too crazy. And then we have a bunch of R Theory Motorsports parts right here that we're gonna go ahead and get unboxed for you guys. These have like, uh, well, these are the FM billet mounts, so find me out of billet sway bar mounts. Here's the OEM ones. Some adjustable end links, two sets of those, one for the front, one for the rear. We got some freaking goaded Delrin door bushings. We're gonna see if these things really do improve the rigidity of the car. I think we will notice it, because like when I go over train tracks, I can hear the doors rattling. And I saw a video where like, we're gonna have to put the roof down to test it, but like the whole door kind of moves up and down with those stock rubber bushings. So that'll be a quick, easy mod that should help the rigidity of the Miats. Since it's the easiest mod, we will go ahead and start with the door bushings. Pretty simple task, just open the door. Just two bolts right here. Looks like we got some Phillips heads. Get those rubber bushings removed, get the Delrin ones put on and see how nice that door shut sounds. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like when we slam the door. Just to see, I don't know if there's gonna be a difference, but maybe when we shut the door now, it'll be like no noise, no rattling. This is what it sounds like when you shut the door. I guess it really doesn't sound real rattly as it is. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it won't sound any different, but I just want to try it. We'll see at the end, I guess. So these bad boys are solid. That's just to give you a little difference look. You can squeeze that. Really collapses very easily. Delrin, nada. And we got some sweet stainless Allens, so that'll look real nice. Well, we got the Delrin door bushing on, and I must say, I do think the door shuts a lot nicer. I mean, no play. It is solid on there, and it makes this beautiful click. Ooh, dude, that's spicy. We could do that all day. Ooh, I like that. Got our sway bars down on the ground right here. So these are adjustable links. If it will focus, focus, focus. Looking absolutely beautiful. This is our front. And then we got our billet flying Miata brackets that came with these bad boys. Yeah, that's pretty much all we got for the sway bars. Now we just have to take this whole car apart, get all of the wheels off, and start tearing her apart. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long process, just like everything else has been on this car. I'm gonna throw you in a time lapse while we get this thing jacked up, cause, yeah, time lapse. Go ahead and get that sway bar out, the front sway bar out of the car, and then we will proceed from there. I 
want to see a size difference, we got the OEM right there. And we got the Flying Miata. So you can see our A beefier out here. And what we got going on, way beefier. That stock one, getting it out was a bit of a challenge. It wasn't too bad, but this one is probably gonna be quite a challenge to get back in. So we're probably gonna have to do a lot of finagling to get that thing in there, so bear with us. This is gonna take a minute. Okay, that should be 20 pounds. Look at this bad boy. Got the freaking adjustable end links looking beautiful. And there's the sway bar, dude. Looks so much better. the old rear sway bar out it was kind of a hassle with their new shoddy exhaust that they installed on this car um, but we did get it out there is a slight design difference from OEM to this one it's got this slight little bend right here and then it I think it's maybe a tiny bit thicker it's definitely a little bit thicker and then it's got the three-way adjustable on the end which when we put it right in the center on this We finally got the sway bars all on after about four hours of freaking grinding on this thing. It looks so dope. It sucks that you're really not going to be able to see it, but dude, so much cleaner. Check that out, guys. So nice. For style points, highly recommend the Flying Miata sway bars with the R Theory Motorsports adjustable freaking end links. But we have not quite yet tested performance, so can't really give it to you guys yet, but I'm sure it's going to be sick. We're going to go ahead and get all the wheels hooked back on this thing, get this thing on the ground, get the lug nuts torqued, and then we'll do our first drive in the rain after cleaning this beautiful car. It's just going to get filthy again. Welcome to Washington. Place sucks. Miata is all torqued down, got the wheels torqued, everything is torqued up. We got the mounts for the sway bars torqued at 20 foot pounds and then 80 on the wheels. So now we get to go drive it. Hopefully nothing falls off. That would really suck, you know, just ruin our brand new parts because we did something wrong. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen. We're not, no, what? That's not happening. It is the next day, but of course, like Washington, it's dumping rain, but you know what? That's not gonna stop us, not today.
Alright guys, we're coming through our first roundabout. The roads are wet, so we're not going to be full send in this thing, but we are going to take it at a decent speed. Maybe the rear end gets a little loose, but yes, here we go. I think this thing is going to be crazy. A little sideways. Hopefully, there's no cops. Spicy as fuck, boys. Holy shit. Damn. Well guys, we are currently in a, what's this thing called? A ferry, and I recommend going on a ferry if you never have because it's really fun. I guess, but we're in the Miata, we're on a ferry, we're putting this little guy to the test. So far we've driven what, like 130 miles today? Probably more. Probably more than 130 miles today, we still got like 70 miles all the way home, so. Mini road trip in the Miata, and so far, it's doing great. Definitely needs some um, better coilovers because we could ride a lot nicer. But you know, I'm not mad with it. I'm not mad. But we're about to, have to start driving, so I don't know. I'll see you guys later. We had a package for work show up. Freaking clean garage hooking it up. You already know, don't look at the address though. Thank you, son. Motherfuckers. Crushing my coating bottle, dude. Whoever, dude, whoever packaged this needs to be fired. For some PNS, bugger. That yum wheel cleaner, you already know this shit. The bomb.com. We got new hose to replace our hose that froze and busted. Got that nice, super, super nice hose from Cobra Jet. You guys already know MTM hooking it up. I'm probably gonna go put this in the van because I gotta work this week and I'm tired of using the shitty hoses my dad had. And now I got my nice 75 footer right here, dude. Just real spicy. What's up, guys? You like my new hair? It's pretty nice, huh? I know. I got some luxious locks. This fucker's heavy, dude. I'm like a fucking bobblehead. She's ready to go for tomorrow, so now I'm gonna go inside and start editing this video. It's like the most time consuming thing ever. If any of you guys have ever edited videos, shit takes forever, dude. I was sweating, I was shitting bricks trying to get last week's video uploaded. I like, computer was being an ass. I had to, Im I had to import it twice. Both times took two and a half hours to import. Video wasn't up till late as shit, so. Yeah. Pretty, pretty shitty. What am I doing? Why am I talking right now? Why am I filming this? Do you guys even want to see this? 
Alright, I better shut up. <laughs> 